name is Giorgio. Um, I graduated from the University of Virginia Darden Business School. And while I was at the University of Virginia, I founded a company with two friends of mine. They are both biomedical engineers. You take like a, a cell phone and it's very small and you can bring it around. So what we did, we developed a technology that can be put inside of the same shape, just a little bit bigger than a cell phone. And you can scan it on top of you and you can see the bones underneath. That's great. Yeah. The standard of care today is X-ray and that will last because X-ray has a high definition of image. Our image are comparatively speaking similar to an X-ray but not at the same level. I think what it will change for sure is if you for example break a bone before putting you through X-ray they will double check that you broke the bone and then send you to X-ray only if you broke the bone. It's going to be way more convenient and it would drive down costs for healthcare. We utilize this technology that does not create uh, radiation. So radiation is the number one reason why people get cancer. And when you have to take a, like an image of your bones, you will be irradiated with X-rays. The second factor is like portability. As I said, we can create like a te the technology big as a cell phone. So that's very important because if you think about it, um, when you are in a hospital and you need to take an image of your bone, you have to go in a laboratory where they have an X-ray machine that costs more than hundred thousand dollars, and it's yeah, it's correct. It's like a, it's it's a room, and we compress everything inside of a cell phone size. So that that's really big for us. And then the last but not least is the ability really like to to bring it to any type of market. So we can bring it like to a U.S. market, or we can bring it like to a developing country. Our dream is really like to help people because um, as of today, like developed countries, they have resources to provide you with the best healthcare system. But like developing country, they don't. And sometimes like people are not able like to, to get a good uh, cure. So what we would like to do for the bone imaging is to provide them with the best cure available on the market. So for me now, it's more like the opportunity to, to do something that is different from like a nine to five type of job, like something that you go to work and you know that you're going to create value out of it. Um, you have your own idea, you want to drive it to the market and you go through like the bootstrapping process of bringing an idea from nothing to reality with the little money available to you and try really like to, to grow it as much as possible what you have. Like for Ravana Medical Innovation is really like developing something that is not yet on the market and therefore really like try to, to break the paradigms that are currently on the market. Like for example, in our space, uh, in order to have like an image of a bone, you have to use X-ray. We use a different technology, which is cheaper and easier to be maneuver. We decided to, to apply to Chief and see how that would play out because we see a, a gigantic market for our technology in China. Like China right now, it's going at two speed. Like there are hospitals in China which are outstanding. They have all the best technologies. And then if you think about it, like in the rural area of China, they're not at the same par. And what we would like to do is really like as soon as we have uh, FDA approval, then move the technology even to China where we think there is going to be a very quick attra traction rate for it. That's why we applied to Chief. The only way to understand how big is the market, what is the potential, was really looking inside of like all the big companies like the GE, the, um, the Siemens, Sonocytes, all the big company playing in the ultrasound space that produce like devices and say how many of them fire in China and comparatively how many of them fire in US and if you look at most of the big player file in China all their ideas as well as like US so you know that the market exists you don't know the size of it it's extremely challenging I mean like people in China working 
on Chinese startup in the healthcare space don't really know how big is the market right now. I feel very much like um, under pressure at the beginning. It's very difficult like, to know exactly what you want to say in a very short amount of time. And that's why like um, when we were in business school, for example, they taught us how to do like an elevator pitch, like a 30 second pitch, a very quick pitch and then how to pitch in like 15 minutes your idea. And you really need to be comfortable having like slides, be able like to move slides around. I wish you guys like really like to, to try to, to enjoy the competition first. Prepare a very quick pitch because I saw the pitches during last year. They were super fast. And then last thing is like really like you have to invest your heart and soul in the startup in order like, to make it work. Otherwise, it's always tough to, to drive a new, new product.